Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I was just currently putting on my makeup and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna quickly jump on here and show you a really fun and quick technique that I have been using to apply my bronzer, how to contour my cheekbones and my jawline. And this is a new brush that I just got in the recent Sephora sale and I really wanna show you the technique, how I use it. And it's really quick and it really defines your cheekbones and your jawline like a dream. I also got another brush that's very multi-purpose. You can use it to apply your blush, your highlight, any powder products that you might have and I thought I would just do a really quick video to show you. Now I already have majority of all my makeup on. I just don't have bronzer, blush, or highlight, but everything else is on my face. And I wanna show you how I apply the new technique. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the bronzing brush that I'm talking about and contour brush I should mention is the Makeup Forever Brush 408 and it's literally called a paintbrush and it really does look like a paintbrush and I did mention this in my Sephora video um, a couple videos ago when I shared my Sephora sale picks and I was talking about this brush right here and I discovered this brush with the toddy video with Scott Barnes who is JLo's makeup artist and he was using this brush on toddy and I said oh my god I need to get that brush as soon as possible it just looks amazing. The way he just sculpted her jawline and her cheekbones was just out of this world. Now he did use a cream product, so he did use like a cream bronzer. I have a cream bronzer, but I've been using it with my powder bronzer and I really like the way it applies as well. And it's been my go-to and I find it's a lot quicker in the morning when you're going out the door than using a cream product. So you can use a cream product or you can use a powder product with this brush. You can also use use this brush to apply your foundation, you can use it for contouring your decollete, and you can use this so many different ways, but it's amazing to contour your cheekbones and your jawline. So I'm gonna show you how I use this product, and the bronzer that I'm using it with, and of course you can use any bronzer that you would like. Scott Barnes did mention in Toddy's video that he uses the Makeup Forever bronzer, the darkest color in the line, and this really does look great on a lot of skin tones, especially fair skin because it really defines your cheekbones like a dream. I'm sure that a lot of people could really use this because this is a lot deeper than a lot of bronzers that I do use. I also like to use the NARS Laguna bronzer. I like to use this on a day to day basis. This is my go to. But when I'm wanting to really sculpt my cheekbones and my jawline, I like to go in with this color here because it's just a little bit darker and it's completely matte. So if you're looking for a really good matte bronzer, this is gonna be it because it's really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna go in with this color here and I just do a light dab. Because it is darker and this is so dense, you are gonna get a harsh line at first, but I will show you how to blend it in so that it looks really good. So just take a little bit on the brush like that and, and then we're gonna start from the ear part here and work your way inward. So I always like to do like a kissy face like that because it really shows where your cheekbone is and it gives you a better visual of where to put the product. So I'm gonna do that for the video just to show you but normally I kinda know where it is but you know what, let's make a funky face and let's just go ahead with it. And as you can see, I have a pretty defined line right there. Do you know what? I kind of like this look. I think we're done here. <laughs> I'm kidding, honestly. We need to blend this baby out. So once we do the defined line and you have it to where you want it, and that is dark enough for you, if at this point you want to add more color, start packing on more color. But this is a pretty good color. You don't want to really go too much more than this, but if you have a little bit of a darker skin tone, add more color if you need it. So once you have the defined line, then we're just going to keep blending. Just like that. And once we put blush and everything else on, it will come together. If this is still too much of a harsh line for you, then you can just go ahead and get a clean brush and just kind of buff it into your skin a little bit more 
just to get rid of the defined line but I kind of like that defined look a little bit because it really does make your cheekbones stand out. So at this point you could add more, you could leave this, it all depends on how you like it and how dark your skin is originally but for me I like to do maybe a little bit more in this part right here. And you want to make sure that you get it right in your hairline area too so that it looks more natural. Just like that. I'm going to show you what I do for the jawline since we're already on this side of the face. So again, I'm going to go in with the same bronzer. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush to start with. And then I'm going to start where your earlobe meets your jawline. So when you start this section, you don't want to do right here where you're going to see it. You want to go underneath your jawbone. So feel where your jawbone is right underneath and that's where you're going to want to add the product and blend like a dream. And that's going to give that shadow appearance of a defined jawline. So I'm going to do that right now. So you're going to want to start right here. As you can see, that's where I'm putting it with the bronzer. And this brush is absolutely amazing. Like it really does a great job. It just glides onto your skin so nicely and it really gives a nice even application and it blends really nice too. So as you can see, I do have more of a defined jawline at this point. I'm going to put maybe just a little bit more. And you don't want to put too much because you want to make sure that it's going to blend with your neck. So if your neck is a little bit lighter, just bring some down just to make it blend a little bit more. But the whole idea is to have this little section here darker but have it underneath the jawline so that it's natural and it looks like a nice shadow. I've just flipped my hair over so that you can get a good visual here. Make sure that all your hair is tucked back here. And you're going to want to start in this section again and create your line. And again, if you think this is too harsh or you want to blend it out a little bit, again, grab your clean brush and just lightly go over it just to buff it into your skin a little bit more. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to do the jawline and we're going to do the same technique. Grab a little bit on the brush and start from where your earlobe is here and down. brush is amazing you guys I just love it so much and it's funny because I was reading some reviews and some people were like I found a dupe at Home Depot and Lowe's and I thought I'm sure you did but it's not gonna be as soft as this I wouldn't think and I know this brush can be a little bit expensive but it really is worth it it's multi-purpose and this brush is gonna last a really long time too the quality is is so good so now that my cheek's done and my jawline is done, I am now going to do a little bit on the forehead. Don't ever miss the forehead because I feel like that's an important step as well. Because it's so mobile and it's like a paintbrush, it really bends really nicely on the forehead. So you can do this really quickly and get her done really fast. Now that you've gone all the way around and you've toasted the edges, as what Scott Barnes likes to say, you are done. Now at this point you can use the same brush and do your nose, which I'm going to do, why not? So just place it on the side and literally follow the line of your nose. It's so easy, it's so quick, and it's so good. This brush is just so good. Okay. 
so I'm done. The new blush that I picked up from the Sephora sale is by Charlotte Tilbury and it is called Love is the Drug and this one is really nice. It'll be perfect for spring and summer and this would look good on a lot of skin tones as well. It's such a pretty shade so I'm gonna go in with that color on my blush brush. I like to swirl all around and then pop it in the center and then I like to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. And this color is also really pigmented as well, which I really like in a blush. There's nothing worse than having a blush that doesn't give off any color at all. So you get a lot of color payoff with this too. There is a bit of a sheen to it as well, which I like. And it lasts a really long time on your face as well. I find that blushes is usually the first thing that you see wear off your face during the day. And this one here really does last a pretty long time. So I really love that about this blush. now I'm going to show you the new brush that I ended up getting during the Sephora sale and it's this flimsy looking one right here and it's by Sephora and it is the Pro Featherweight Blending Brush but honestly I have been using this brush to apply my highlight I've also been applying it underneath my eyes for setting powder. You can set your whole face with this with setting powder. You can also add blush on with this. You can also contour. This does a lot of great things and I love how bouncy and fluffy this brush is and it feels amazing as well. So I'm going to show you how I apply my highlight with this. The highlighter I'm going to use is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. This is really pretty. I really love this highlight. So I'm going to go in with this brush here and I'm going to take a little bit on my brush like this and then I'm going to sweep it across the tops of my cheekbones. And because this is so fluffy, lightweight, and it's like a feather, really, it just applies your highlight so perfectly, so even, and it just looks so natural. You never get any harsh lines with this brush. I'm telling you, you just don't. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to do my other side as well. And my cupid's bow and I'm done so that's everything I really love how these brushes apply the bronzer and highlight and that new blush color I just absolutely love as well I think everybody needs these two brushes in their brush collection they're multi-purpose and they really work amazing they're great quality and as you can see like they've really defined my jawline and my cheekbones really nicely and they're just so so good so I wanted to come on here and just show you a quick little new technique that I've been using and it really has been a lifesaver and it's made my morning routines really quick and easy to do. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and of course if you did could you please give it a thumbs up and if you can also subscribe to my channel that would be great as well and also don't forget to click that notification bell so that you never miss any of my future videos. So I'll definitely see you in my next video. Take care and we'll see you then. Bye. And I just absolutely love this shade. This will look good on a lot of skin types as well. Skin tones maybe, right? Oh lordy. Okay. And I dropped my blush. Wow. With the Becca highlighter in the color. Whew, what color is it in? Moonstone.